Alright guys, time to go back again today with Valorant news and with Steel being removed from 100 Thieves starting lineup just a few days ago, lots of speculation going on right now as to where he might potentially end up. Very much interested in your thoughts in the comment section below. Like if you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe if you are new as always. I would greatly appreciate it. Really does help out the channel. Firstly, this and Built by Gamers. Raptor joining their team as their official coach. Certainly something to keep your eyes out for going forwards. This also from Aaron Spake. According to multiple sources, Fun Plus Phoenix player, that's Dimasig. Definitely a name that I remember from the CS stays supposedly in line for a move to the ninjas in pajamas so definitely another roster move to have a look at as we move forwards this of course then from 100 thieves back on the 27th of september confirming that steel will be moved to that substitute position so lots of um speculation really where's steel gonna go i imagine he's not gonna come back into the team it seemed like from what people were suggesting the um the chemistry issues that were evolving in that team probably unfixable to a degree and don't well therefore steel has got to go elsewhere where does he go who really knows this is uh people would, were hinting at last night was um you know clip from his stream you can see on the bottom left hand side which i will do the enhancement of right here you can see some talk about uh, vanity playing you know c9 vanity c9 leaf has left the party joined the party etc etc playing with these guys and uh, well at least discussing with them a little bit now vanity and leaf he does have some history with these players of course look c9 are doing great right now they're of course going into the last chance qualifier you're not expecting them to make any changes anytime soon they're playing version one they're one of the favorites here from the lower side of this bracket to make it through all the way to the last chance qualifier to make it to champions but at the same time if they do have an underperformance like um, is still a potential option to be considered because I looked up this on Liquipedia this from the Counter-Strike days very briefly during the Counter-Strike days on Chaos he actually played with them right so you can see Steel right here he joined on uh, in 2019 on November and he left in August 2020 and um, you know when he kind of went over to the Valorant stuff and you can see here for a brief period from kind of June that year he played or at least even from January he played with Vanity he played with Zeppa he played with Leaf and some of these guys of course now involved with the Cloud9 team so certainly some history there between them if they do feel like they need an IGL like maybe that's an option to be considered this apparently was also said on stream last night so Steel told nothing today he has one more year left on his contract so apparently this is how it went of course take this with a grain of salt might not be fully accurate I couldn't find a clip of it nothing asked Steel if he wanted to make a team for some upcoming tourney Steel said no Steel said he can't because he's still contracted with 100 Thieves so you know he said to leave but he's getting paid and effectively implying he's on a two-year contract so effectively he'll um well he'll go wherever 100 Thieves want to sell him to so it's not necessarily Steele's decision where he goes but he's kind of going to have some say and then he says look 100 Thieves can you please send me to this organization if of course someone wants to pick him up there was also some question about OG right because they part ways with Tavik, DPS and Destrian so they're out of the squad so um of course like, OG are going to need some new players to come into lineup as well so roster mania chaos really going on right now with a load of these rosters you've also got Renegade as well who relatively recently removed a couple of their players Jerk was gone pretty sure they released Winsome as well a couple of weeks after this one so um yeah this was back on the 3rd of September so maybe Renegades as an option for Steel as well. It's a, I guess we'll have to see and keep your eyes on it going forwards. This is also from Tarek because, well, of course, coming up to the, the last chance qualifier, we're going to be expecting the watch parties certainly to continue and at the co-streaming and stuff like this. And Tarek this time seems to be approved, good to go. As he says, you know, they know about me. That includes you, Tarek, if you can do both in, in terms of broadcasting and complying with the, with the tools and the guidelines and uh, signing up to do the watch party. You're clear to kick off your watch party come the game day. And, uh, you know, just awesome stuff, to be honest, uh, Tarek getting involved. Also, this from Sick I thought was kind of interesting. Discussing Academy teams here in Valorant right now. I feel like Academy teams make no sense currently in Valorant. Even the main rosters don't play matches for multiple months sometimes. Academy team gets to play leftover tournaments that the main team can't or won't even play. And players won't get moved around from each team anyway because there's no real like, you know, chance to do so and to see which teams are playing well because sometimes the matches are few and far between. Yes, guys, I understand Academy teams might be viable in the future. There's no rush to sign a fuel Academy team. It's still a big investment. Where there's a league and what's short, it'll be great they're still somewhat far away in esports times. So that's the thing. If there was like an academy league going on but behind like each one of the pro teams, then maybe that might make sense. But right now, I can certainly understand Sick from a Sentinel's perspective on this issue. I just wanted to finish off with this as well. Top performers statistically from Masters Berlin. You've got in terms of KD, you've got Ye leading it up. Meissen with the headshot rate of 45%. Tens, of course. Mako, Cened, Mazzino, and Munchkin kind of leading on these other statistics that I want to let you guys enjoy to finish out the video. But very much intrigued to your thoughts on all this stuff in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did enjoy it i'd greatly appreciate a like on the video really upside the youtube i gotta know you enjoy this content other people like you may enjoy this content as well and i've grown the competitive valorant community thank you as always take care and i will see you next time